Hello guys and welcome to this video about Chatsker classification for tibial bateau fractures. So this classification was developed in the 1979 by the Canadian orthopedic surgeon Joseph Chatsker uh, and he's a really brilliant orthopedic surgeon who contributed a lot to the orthopedics. So thanks to him and credits goes to him for making this classification uh, and beside this let's start so it is a 60 grades classification system for tibial plateau fractures and it combines location fracture location pattern fracture energy and tibial plateau involved if it is lateral or medial or both to produce this system and it considers the energy of the fracture so we have the low energy fractures and we have the high energy fractures where grades from one to three are caused by low energy force while the grades from four to six are caused by high energy force and it also considers the the uh, the plateaus involved so it is either unicondylar or bicondylar grades one to four are unicondylar while grades five and six are bicondylar so now for the classification so it's the six grades the first grade is a split fracture of the lateral uh, tibial plateau grade 2 is a split depression fracture of the lateral tibial plateau and grade 3 is uh, it's a depression fracture of the lateral tibial plateau so now we have the fir first three guys are the first one is just a split of the lateral plateau the second one is a split depression and the third one is depression of the lateral plateau and uh, grade 3 have two types, grade 3A, which is a lateral depression of the lateral plateau, and grade 3B is a central depression of the lateral plateau. Grade 4 is a split or depression fracture of the medial tibial plateau. This time it is medial. Grade 5 is a wedge shape pattern fracture. So it is either a split or split depression type of fracture involving both tibial plateaus. And the grade six is a dissociation of the articular surface from the diaph diaphysis of the tibia plus any other fracture. So now I'm going to explain each of these grades separately in more details. So grade one is a vertical split of the lateral uh, tibial plateau or condyle of the tibia in the, in the sagittal plane. And it is most common in young people who have hard cancellous trabeculae and good bone density. So the bone splits and doesn't depress. And this drawing here uh, explain this grade so here we have the tibia and we have here we have the fibula so we have the medial plateau the lateral plateau and the intercondylar eminence here so the grade one is a split fracture of the lateral tibial plateau and it is lateral to the intercondylar eminence and it goes down uh, to the uh, and it make a split vertical split here now for the grade two so in grade two it's a split depression fracture of the lateral tibial plateau and it is most is the most common grade uh, and it is associated with either greater energy than grade one or with poor bone quality 
the lateral tibial plateau can't stand the load of the lateral femoral condyle and that's why it sustains split depression type of fracture and this this drawing here explain this grade so we have the split fracture from grade one but this time it has a, de uh, a, a depression with it so it's a split depression type of fracture of the lateral tibial plateau now for the third grade so so the third grade is a depression fracture of the lateral tibial plateau and it is classified into two types grade 3a with lateral depression while grade 3b with central depression of the lateral tibial plateau so this time it suggests it's just a depression fracture but it is either a lateral depression of the lateral tibial plateau or grade 3b which is a central depression of the lateral tibial plateau and it is associated with poor bone quality and can be caused by very low energy mechanisms and it is most common in elderly and joint stability is rarely affected but axial instability might occur with the grade 3b and this drawing here explains this grade so there is a depression fracture in the lateral tibial plateau uh, here so yeah so the there we have the uh, the depression in the lateral tibial plateau grade 4 is a split or split depression fracture in the medial plateau so this time uh, the fracture is in the medial plateau the fracture passes lateral to the intercondylar eminence and goes back medially to separate the medial plateau from the tibia so uh, it begins laterally but it comes medially I'm, I'm going to explain this more in the drawing just after this slide so the mechanism of injury is high energy virus force with axial loading the knee joint stability is extensively affected and they represent variant of knee dislocation and there is high risk for compartment syndrome and neurovascular injury and this drawing here explain this grade so there is a there is a, a, a split fracture and it begins laterally so it begins laterally and it goes medially it, it begins lateral to the intercondylar eminence and it goes medially and there is uh, the medial plateau is splitted here and there's a fracture in the medial plateau itself and this is a grade four grade five is a split or split depression type of fracture involving both tibial plateaus and the intercondylar eminence is spared because of the cruciate ligaments holding it and there is total articular injury and the mechanism of injury is of course high energy force and there is unstable knee joint but it is more stable than the grade IV or the grade 4 because the cruciate ligament is spared uh, and they still hold the intercondylar eminence while in grade 4 the intercondylar eminence is fractured so it is more stable injury uh, and this is wrong here explaining this grade so the intercondylar eminence is spared and the cruciate ligament holding the the rest of the bone but there is a fractures in the medial plateau and the lateral plateau and the fibula and this is a grade 5 in grade 6 there is dissociation of the articular surface from the diaphysis so there is here there is a, a full 
are a complete dissociation of the articular surface from the di diaphysis plus any other fracture and the mechanism of injury is high energy force and uh, it is common that there is open fracture with extensive soft tissue injury and compartment syndrome uh, is common with this grade and of course the knee joint is unstable and there is high risk for compartment syndrome and neurovascular injury and this drawing explains this grade so there is a, dis a dissociation here from uh, the the articular surface from the rest of the tibia and there is also more fractures here but the main uh, uh, the main thing is that there is dissociation here that will make, make grade 6 here and that's it for this classification thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe and see you in the next video